Now, the furious backlash surrounding Jeremy Clarkson's Meghan Markle article at the weekend has reached a new level of hysteria, with demands for the police to get involved. The police? In his controversial column in The Sun, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host said he hated the Duchess on a cellular level and was dreaming of the day when the royal was made to parade naked as the public pelted her with excrement. Uh, not content with rallying for him to lose his job and livelihood, some outraged readers are calling for a hate probe into the incident, an idea which has thankfully been nipped in the bud by Met Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley. I think there's a, a line to be drawn, um, Nick. It's not for the police to get involved in anything that's about is something ethical, is it moral, is it is it proper, is it offensive. Um, the the legal lines are only crossed when uh, generally when things are said that um, are intended or likely to stir up um, or incite violence. Um, I don't think this is one of those cases, but of course we'll keep a close eye on it. Self-processed Chief Gammon, June Slater, joins me now to tackle this one. June, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. It's evening, even. Uh, is there hope for the police? I mean, are they actually going to get back to, I don't know, nicking crooks after this? What do you reckon? <laughs> Well, it's certainly a breath of fresh air after what we've had with Cressida Dick. The only thing they got right with her was a surname. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we've been victims of being afraid to say what we think. And anybody who speaks their mind completely is always going to be in trouble. But Clarkson and his comments... Asking him to tone it down is a bit like asking a pantomime dame not to wear so much makeup. He's not going to do that, is he? He's going to be Jeremy Clarkson. It's what he does. He's outlandish. Uh, as far as sacking him goes, ridiculous. He's not, not done his job. He's done his job because, as you know, Don, you work in publishing. He'll have had to get this past an editor or a sub-editor, and some will have said, great column, and published it. That's what happened to Katie Hopkins. She got it past two um, editors, and then when it went out, there was this campaign to get her cancelled. She was cancelled. It's happening now with Clarkson. But fortunately, um, in this era, we've got the trailblazers at the front of the helm, GB News, who have honest opinion from both sides of the fence. Then we've got Twitter that's opened itself up. And we've got this new police chief, Mark Rowley, who, um, well, I mean, he's, he's right. The police are there to make sure we don't break a law, that we don't rob people, mug people, stab people. And if Sadiq Khan was as bothered about London and knife crime and acid attacks as he was about hurty tweets, we'd probably live in a safer place. This guy's a breath of fresh air. And Clarkson... Just leave him back under his rock, let him do his column, get on with his well, life. This, this I, I'm is, no fan of the... Uh, this is the oh. thing, June, isn't it? I, I think we can all agree that what he said went, went beyond the pal, but it, it's the job of a columnist to get the column and your publication talked about. And what has everyone been talking about ever since? Well, you know, the, the thing I have problems here with where, uh, as well, June, is you've actually had MPs, there's one there, um, Scottish SMP, who, who actually wrote to um, TV companies saying... Don't ever have clerks on our TV again. That June, what gives an MP the right to dictate to us plebs who and what we can watch on TV? Where, where, where are they going with this one? Well, instead of calling them MPs, they should be called PMs, public morons, because they now seem to involve themselves in every aspect of our life and see themselves as much greater and more important figures than they are. They're there to represent us. They're not there to give their opinion. They're there to represent us. And they forget that it's us, the people who are sovereign. We hand that over to Parliament in trust for them to behave properly. An SNP is lucky to even have a seat because that in itself, the way it was elected, you got basically um, Nigel Farage's party, UKIP, got four million votes and one seat. And Scotland got 54 seats. There's 53 of them shouldn't be there as far as I'm concerned. We need a minister to run Scotland. And these other people, they're, they're imposters to me because but, of the yeah. way the system's set up. Five um, million people get 54 seats and the rest of us have to put up with this. I think, I think they, haven't um, got the, the, <laughs> they haven't got the message that, you know, they're elected to sort of like try and run the country, not censor what we read and what we, and what we, we watch on our TVs. Now, obviously, Clarkson broke no criminal laws, so... 
why would the police get involved? The other thing I wanted to ask you on this matter, June, is that, you know, it's sort of like, you know, women have had police turning, obviously mob handed up at their doors to question them about their views on being a woman after they said a bit of a hurty word about maybe the transgender community. So do you think that, you know, hopefully, our, you know, a new Met Chief Police will actually put a stop to that one as well? Well, it's moving in the right direction and we've got a lot of people to thank. Lawrence Fox and Harry Miller from the Bad Lord Project, which is a, a spin-off, as it were, from the Reclaim uh, Party. They've got this ball rolling because they've challenged the College of Policing. Not only that, they won. And Harry won before he met Lawrence. He took that to court, risking his own house. He believed in the principle of challenging bad law. And this is somehow... Um, and GB News, you're at the forefront. This is trailblazing on free speech, this. Uh, or I wouldn't be sat here, Dawn. I'm not indeed, a journalist. Um, so we've got to look at all these little movements that are going on. You've got the Bad Law Project with Lawrence. You've got GB News. You've got Twitter opening up, reinstating doctors that were cancelled. And now you've got a chief of police that sounds like one.